Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. Hello everyone, I am Apostle Daniel Akbai. Today we are looking at this serious topic. Is it a sin to have sex during fasting? So this is the topic we are considering today. I have gotten questions from people. So is it a sin to have sexual relationship, I mean affair with my wife? So this topic is limited to those that are married. Is it a sin to have sex with my husband or wife during fasting? So that is what we are going to be addressing today. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible, Paul said, Do not deprive each other of marital right. Marital right has to do with sex. Except perhaps by mutual consent for a time. So that you may devote yourself or hinder to prayer. But come together again so that Satan will not tempt you to sin because of your lack of self-control. Now, you need to understand that it depends on the kind of fasting you are doing. First, you must know, is it 6 to 6 fasting? The kind of fasting that you will do and break every evening? Two, is it dry fasting that will last for 7, 14, 20, 40 days? So, from there we shall we will be able to ascertain whether you can have sex or not. But I'd like you to know that there is no sex in marriage that is a sin. Sex in marriage, according to the scripture, is not a sin. From what we read from. But there are, there are demarcations, there are lines that I am going to draw according to the scripture we read from. There's no sex in marriage with your spouse Having sex with your spouse, that is a sin. Because the Bible says marriage is honorable with bed, undefiled. Your bed, that the bed must be kept pure. It means the bed is pure. Any sex you have in your matrimonial home or life is pure and holy. So there's no sex, I mean there's no time you have sex in your home that will make you um, attract a consequence of sin. Now, but the thing is, there are lines that must be drawn. Paul said, do not deprive each other. I say, when your husband needs sex, don't deny him. When your wife needs sex, do not deny her. He said, except maybe, Paul said, maybe by mutual understanding. Okay? It means that if you are not giving your spouse sex, it must be on mutual understanding. This means that if your spouse Maybe I'm fasting, for example, and my, my wife decides to have sex with me. She said, baby, I need sex. If she chooses not to understand, I must break the fast and have sex with her. Because the, Paul said, except on mutual understanding, there must be understanding. He said, deny not one another. Do you know that there are pastors, there are women who are denying their spouse for years in the name of spirituality? That's what the Bible condemns. So first, you must draw the line. What kind of fasting are you doing? Is it six to six? The one you do, you break in the evening. Is it seven days dry fasting? Now, if there's mutual understanding, you cannot fast without the consent of your wife. You cannot fast without the consent of your husband. So if you are going on a seven days dry fasting, for example, baby, I'm going on seven days dry fasting. And these are things I want to fast from. I don't want to... I, I, I'm not going, for example, I'm not going to be on, on, I'm not going to be eating food, I'm not going to be drinking water, and these seven days I want us to abstain from sex. Then you, my wife says, fine, okay, no problem, I will encourage you. Then I can go. So these seven days, I will consecrate and dedicate it only to the fasting and prayer. So fasting has to do with us depriving or denying ourselves pleasure or some certain things. It's not all about food. When my wife consents to that, I can go on that. Her mind, even if she has urge for sex for those seven days, she will sacrifice because according to consent, she has given her consent. Then if you are doing six to six fasting, you break in the evening, only in the evening. Then there's nothing wrong with you having sex with your wife after you break in the evening. There's nothing wrong. 
He does not defile your fasting. He does not make your, your fasting important. So it depends on the kind of fast you want to do, and it depends on your understanding. So what matters is this. If you are fasting, speak with your spouse. I am fasting. Remember, in as much as you fast, do not deprive your spouse. Do not use spiritual exercise to deny your spouse uh, sex. Paul said, Paul said, but come together again after you have fasted. Come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of lack of self-control. It means that if you give gap, you do not give room to yourselves to have sex with yourself as a part, as a spouse, as, as a couple, there's every tendency that you'll be tempted. So what am I saying finally? Sex in marriage is not a sin. Number two, understand the nature of the fasting. If it's six to six, when he breaks in the evening, he can have sex with you. It's not bad. If it is dry fasting, long fasting that you not eat or drink, health-wise, it's not even good for you to go and have sex when you have not eaten for six, five days. It's not even healthy for you. So talk to your wife. If it's a long fasting or your husband, let the person understand before you go. But I can tell you, sex in marriage can never bring sin to you. So long as you are legally married by 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 join together by god there's nothing bad just demarcate the line god bless you if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button god bless you bye